Welcome to the FNO InsureTech Podcast, a place where movers and shakers from all points within the insurance ecosystem gather and discuss all things InsureTech. Here are your hosts, Lee Boyd and Rob Beller. Hey, Podcast World, welcome to another informative Mm -hmm. edition of FNO InsureTech, your only sole complete source for all things insure tech and right. today today would be no exception to that no no it is a it's a great day for a good podcast it's we have we is. have fall weather going on yes yeah and it is a great day for a good listen and if if you follow other podcasts in this industry we recommend that you just unsubscribe from those because you don't even need them anymore you don't even need them because because you got us this is all you need this is all all, this is all you need and after you hear a couple of our podcasts you'll realize that we have no idea what we're talking about when we say that that's right Um, but our guests do but our guests do and that's what our podcast is about is to bring you movers shakers from all points in the insure tech world, in the insure tech ecosystem. And today we have a super duper important one. Huge guest. Um, to talk about what are our, our, one of our favorite things about the fall. Mm-hmm. And that is getting on a plane, going to Las Vegas, and going to insure tech connect. Yeah, it is that time of year whenever we get to see all of our friends. And all of our listeners and all of our clients and everything, because they're all at one place. They're all at ITC. And it is it 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 is the time to get to do business, just to meet new companies and see what's out there. Yeah. It it's always an amazingly wonderful experience. Lots to see, lots of people to be with. Um and and what's new. Mm-hmm. And uh, like Lee said on another podcast we did, the best expo out there, period, bar none. Period. Not just because of the people exhibiting, but because of the atmospheres, because of the, the meeting locations, yes. the uniqueness. Yes. It is a it is a top-of-the-line industry expo. Yes. And we have the chief customer officer from ITC with us today. Mr. Bill Harris, a co-founder and long timer, uh, obviously at ITC around in the early days when uh, they were running around trying to hold this thing together before there it grew into a 10,000 person mega event in the insurance industry. And Bill is a a remarkable guy. And what's he going to talk about today, Lee? Well, Bill's going to come on. He's going to talk all about uh, the conference. He's going to talk about what people can expect to see there. Uh, and, and I mean, just a, a array of things. And he, he's an excellent speaker. And he's a, he's a great guest. And we are very blessed to have had him on. Um, and also, for those people who are listening today, Bill has actually given us a promo code that we can use. That's right. Is that is that something we can go ahead and give out now, Rob? Let's let let's do that now. So get out your paper and pencil if you know what that is. If mm-hmm. not, get out your phone and go to notes or wherever and write this down. So when you're signing up for ITC, we want you to use the promo code ITCV as in Victor FNO two hundred. And that'll get you $200 off of your registration. Now, we're also going to put that information into the notes of the podcast. So if you just look down at the description of the podcast, you'll see it in there too. Uh, But that's I-T-C-V-F-N-O-200. And there's lots of things that you can do with that $200. Can you think of, let's give them one suggestion, Lee. Go ahead. Um, I still have the Wednesday night dinner slot open. So... Rob and I, Rob and I have that open. So that, that's yeah. one idea. Yeah. That, yeah. That's one idea. If you want yeah. to take us to dinner. Yeah. Take us to your party. Take us to your party. Uh-huh. Um, you know, maybe a drink, maybe a lunch. Uh-huh. I, yeah. I like breakfast. We're, we're, I mean, our, our calendar is 
uh, getting jam packed, but right. we have room for you mm-hmm. and your two hundred dollars. So yeah, especially if if, please, if you have two hundred dollars in your pocket, we have room for you. Please take advantage of that and take advantage of everything that Bill Harris is about to share with you. So, without further ado, here is our interview with the chief client officer, chief customer officer at ITC, the famed gigantic InsureTech conference in Las Vegas, Bill Harris. Hey everybody, we're here with a super special guest, not just kind of a special guest. This is a super special guest, right Lee? The super special. Super special guest. We have, we have Bill Harris, chief customer officer, co-founder at ITC Vegas. Uh, uh, what a pleasure and an honor and welcome to uh, FNO Insurance. Welcome, Bill. Hey, thank you. It's great to be here and I appreciate the invite. It's great to uh, see you guys once again from your uh, previous experiences with ITC and it's great to be on the pod. Well, I, you know, I was looking through your recent podcast and it's a lot of folks, a lot of friends of ITC. A lot are, of, are, lot are on, of ITC on people. We, yeah, yeah. So back in the day when ITC only had like a couple thousand attendees. Back in the day. You know, you when it was there. little. You guys were there. And uh, we were like, we we got to get an interview with these guys. And so um, uh, some of your homeboys gave us, uh, gave us um, an interview or two. And so we, and we, the our history with your uh with your with your conference means a lot to us it's it's uh it's really special not to mention going i mean to say that it's the preeminent insurtech conference is an understatement when you agree i i agree 100% i mean it is the insurance conference to go to not just insurtech it is the insurance it's where if you're in the insurance world you go to itc yeah, and I give Caribou and Jay, my partners, a lot of credit in that because it was it's literally by design. So wasn't that something that, you know, they were capricious about? Like Caribou was very intentional and he approached Jay and he said, Hey, you know, I want to create an insurance, insure tech focused event, but it has to be an event that I want to go to. He's like, I go to too many events and they're a complete waste of my time. So number one, they're also very, you know, they're genius in naming it Insure Tech Connect, which is what IPC stands for. Because Caribou was saying it has to be about the connections. That's number one, the most important thing, because we're going to bring together all these amazing people. And it's important that everyone connects with each other. Yes, the content needs to be great, right? Yes, the expo hall needs to be awesome. But most important, we're going to connect people. And that's why in the middle of our expo hall, the prime real estate of an expo hall, right? right. That one-to-one meeting area. Oh, and I yeah. was, I'm new to events. I'm a FinTech entrepreneur originally, right? I've done a bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm one of these guys that wherever disruption kind of rapid changes happening in an industry, financial services, education, what have you, I've done it all. Digital marketing. I've, I've been in some amazing places in my career. But Caribou was saying, we really have to, carve the space out. And I was like, that sounds strange to me for an event to carve out like the most valuable real estate. Why would you right. do that? Right. No, no. And it is, it's, it's right, it, right there at the right entrance. And it's the bugs. And he's, and he was absolutely genius about that. Creating those connections, focusing on those connections. He was saying, essentially it's the rising tide that will lift all boats. And it's been very true for our event. It's been imitated a lot with a lot of other events. Yes, you know, the app, the networking app and that kind of thing. Like the first app we use is Bro. Brella had done like a PTA meeting prior to coming <laughs> to ITC Vegas in, in 2016. And I was like, how big is your largest event? And they're like, oh, you know, Jerky is like a Scandinavian guy. Oh, I think it was about like 200 people. I said, brother, we're going to have 1,500 people here. And he's like, okay, hey, we're going to work it out. You know, we're going to make it work. One of those things where you will make it work. But yeah, and Umbrella became, you know, a very popular app. We now use the Grip app, which has a lot more functionality, what have you. But like using an app to connect people and have meetings and focusing on those one-to-one meetings. Again, if you're going to have 9,000 people who are coming from 60 countries, you know, the best and brightest minds, 
why not connect them? Right. Yeah. So if that's what we're really focused on, along with, you know, again, content and the discovery of all the stuff that's happening in the expo hall, the experiences, we're really excited. I'm obviously I'm, I'm just, you're gushing buffed. with excitement for 2024. It's going to be great. We have a nice space theme, a cosmic kind of space theme Oh, how cool. this year. We're, yeah, we're trying to connect it to the Artemis project, the Artemis space, you know, project with NASA was, there was supposed to be a, la a lunar landing, a manned lunar landing this year. Got pushed back. Mm -hmm. Obviously, NASA's been having some problems, right? Few, um, few they're trying issues. to figure out how to get, how to yep. get the Starliner folks off the uh, International get Space Station. So, we're, yep. so it's still, you know, innovation is hard. Innovation is tricky. So uh, Man, yeah, you're, you're, you see in all walks of life. You always have, like, in all your pictures and your team's pictures, you have on, like, spacesuits. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're right. completely bought into the theme of, of spacesuits. Yeah, and you'll see that in the imagery, in the production of the show. It's uh, it's very much that that space theme. So we're and, excited about that. Yeah. And by the way, you look really good in a spacesuit. I just just want to get <laughs> it out there. It works the, for uh, you. I, I will say that, um, you know, there's many unique features about your conference, but the the uh, the one thing that, is I think the most unique, and and you were hitting on it with the with the meeting area, is the esprit de corps, yeah. Among everybody, there's there's an openness, and it, it most conferences that you go to, and somebody who's been on the sales side for most of his career knows that when you go to a conference, there's offense and defense basically. Right. There's the people that are selling and the people that are trying to avoid the people who are selling, but that's not the case here. Because no, no. it's, 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 there's an open, everybody has an openness and a willingness. Yeah. And we really work hard on that. The buyers and the sellers and, you know, making sure that the buyers are comfortable. And yeah. I think what distinguishes again, our, our event from a lot of other events in the space is that number one, the buyers come in droves and the dryer, the buyers traditionally are the insurance carriers, brokers, the people that have the money to buy technology solutions. It is a tech event, first yeah. and foremost, right? Insure tech is about finding and discovering new tech to employ. So it's the, you know, the carriers, the reinsurers, uh, the big brokers, also agents or the buyers, but we've tried to not make them, you know, quote unquote, shock, right? We're trying to, we always try to make the event be, you know, again, this is Jay's genius as an event entrepreneur caribou's genius in planning out the event we want to make sure that the buyers can absorb the information at their pace whether it's from the content stages we're running 14 stages this year oh we have wow 500 yeah 500 speakers it's like uh 12 wow. or so tracks a lot of a lot of content great content hundreds of hours of content so either you're getting it from the stage and it's not a sales pitch it's not a commercial Right. Or you're able to uh, get it from the exhibitors in the expo hall. And one of the things that's really key about, you know, we're really excited about this year, not only is it the space theme, but another thing that we're doing that's new this year is, you know, from the feedback of people saying the event's great, everyone's here. It's so awesome. But frankly, it's logistically challenging to, you know, be in all these places, find what exactly what I'm looking for. So what we've done this year, based on that feedback, is create curated programs and neighborhoods in the expo hall. So our curated programs revolve around agents, brokers, the LATAM community, Latin American community, and then new this year is life annuities and group benefits. Okay. So we're really thrilled about that. So in the expo hall, Right near the entrance is the life annuities and group benefits area. We're going to have a stage there. We're also going to have a town square, which oh, is wow. like kind of like a networking area, a way to, you know, just connect and see things and talk and, you know, get a beverage and that kind of thing. We'll have some meetups there. Uh, just past that is the brokers neighborhood. Then on the other side, we're going to have the Latam neighborhood. And the other one I mentioned is agents actually. On starting on Monday, we're going to have continuing education for agents. Oh, great. Right. Um, 
We're also going to have on Tuesday, the first official day of the, of the conference, uh, ITC in Egypt. It's going to be a full day program mm -hmm. aimed at like independent agents. Guys are producing, and, you know, insurance is sold, not bought, right? So those sellers who are directly in front of the consumers who have their own business, who are managing a book of business, we're going to have a really great program, a, a full program for them on Monday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, Monday's the CEs. Tuesday is a full program. And then Wednesday, we're going to do some additional stuff also, the meetups and that kind of thing, with the idea that the agents will also stay over, continue to stay at ITC, and really partake in all that ITC Vegas has to offer. That's great. That's great. I love, I love how you're bringing in the different groups early on. It was just kind of a, a you know two or two and a half days or so of ITC, but now you can come a little early and and participate in these other things. And I agree, if the agents can stay throughout throughout the event, they're they're going to gain so much so much knowledge because especially at this expo, there are technologies that the agents might not even know exist that they're they're going to get a lot of value out. So I think adding these extra events to the event is is very very good very good idea yeah, yeah so we started that off you know very early on with that we used to call it the pre-conference day now we call it the kickoff day because people were thinking like pre-conference like it's optional i don't really need to be there right. and frankly right you should be right. there because not right. only is there great content right. it's different because it's long formats like four hours surefy does an all-day life and annuity uh, ecosystem kind of summit so some go all day um, but it's really not only, you know, some really nice long format content, but also that's when you really get a chance to do a lot of your meetings and networking and that kind of thing, because there are only, uh, roughly a dozen or so kickoff sessions that happen on Tuesday. So that's cool. But you can also spend all day networking and going to, you know, parties and receptions and just meeting people and getting your feet wet. So we encourage people come. On come, you know, for Tuesday. Tuesday's a full day agenda. Yeah. And then at the end of Tuesday, we kick off with our kickoff party, mm -hmm. which is going to be against it again at the uh at the House of Blues. Would be great. But there are a lot of things happening on Tuesday, a bunch of parties, uh, and receptions. We're organizing all that information. There are usually about 50, 60 or so parties and receptions that we know about. Yeah. That happen alongside the stuff that we're planning. At ITC, you know, we kick off with the big opening party. And then again, we're closing this year. We usually have a headline act. We've got Grammy winners, boys to men. Yeah, that's right. Uh, closing it out on the Mandalay Bay beach, which is a great, you know, it's a great, it's such venue. A nice intimate, great venue. It's a great concert. Last year we had earth, wind and fire. I mean, it's just, it's ludicrous. The uh, year before. We've had ludicrous. We've had salt and Papa, Billy Idol, UB40. And we've had some great acts. And it's just, again, another part of the value add of the, going back to your previous question about the experience of coming to ITC Vegas. It's more than just a conference. It's kind of like, especially with the timing of the event, it's kind of like homecoming. It is. You see everyone, you're like, oh, I've seen, yeah, these are all the people I've seen, all the people I know, my clients, you know, my old partners or what have you. Yeah. It's just a really great kind of homecoming feel. What about talk a little bit about the the State Farm uh, startup pitch competition? I know last yeah. year you hosted that. I I think it was the first one. I might be wrong. I think it was the first no, it's one. The second one. Second one. The okay. Second one. And then Snap. First one was uh, Stream. Stream. Okay. Stream. Eric Yen from Stream. It's a workers' comp startup. It's a Stream won, one. Uh, Snap. The first year. Snap refund won it last Snap year. Snap refund. We had yep. them Cody on the on the podcast. Refund, great. great, great group. Yeah. Um. Tell me a little bit about that. Is that is that pretty successful, or is, I, I would think it is. Yeah, that's been that's been an awesome experience for not only us, but you know, for those startups that are trying to uh, to really get a uh, their their message out, mm -hmm. right? So we've got a uh, we have a group of folks, big group of folks who applied. Unfortunately, we have to cut it down to ten finalists to make it manageable. And literally on Tuesday, when we do the. Uh, the, the pitch competition, you know, when you hear the pitches, the, the actual pitches, it's amazing how many people turn out for it. I always tell people, get there early because there will be hundreds of people in that room waiting to hear those pitches. So wow. uh, we've got some cool folks. Uh, 
I'll, I'll just list the, the finalists for us real quick. Compass IoT does connected vehicle data. Uh, Domu is an AI voice bot for like sales and customer service. Fora uh, is a climate data analytics company. Force Field does uh, cybercrime and like digital deception. You know, it's almost like a, it's a little bit of a cyber play. Miss Money Penny Technologies is a customer engagement using like your digital wallets, which is very cool. Everyone has yeah. like an Apple Pay kind of wallet. Property Lens uh, is from Rob Frady, who stole Hazard Hub to go to uh, Guidewire. Good, good. It's a property good insights of the play. Yep, yep. Bob. The return of Bob Frady. Bob Frady is everywhere. I know. Record Laker is a uh, data conversion and data warehouse analytics. Uh, play, which is interesting. Shaper City Technologies, a nuclear verdict prediction or some massive verdicts coming out. And then uh, Tumbleweed and, and Yada automated uh, software. So we've got really some very cool uh, startups that are going to, you know, talk about what they're doing. And it's, uh, we do the voting through the app. Yeah. So we're really thrilled. We've got 10 really nice up and coming companies and the State Farm, State Farm's been a great client, Marcus Rolfs, uh, great partner. Marcus Rolfs and uh, Hayden Kirkpatrick have been terrific. They've been great with uh, sponsoring this pitch competition. It's just been a nice element to yeah. add to the show the last couple of years. People are very interested. I love that. What, what Talk about what you do during the conference. I mean, it must be four <laughs> days of not sleeping. Right. Um, right. I mean, what, 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 what do you do while it's happening? While it's happening, you know, I, as the co-founder, I kind of have obviously, you know, a lot of the events, uh, history kind of up here in my head. So, you know, what I do and also in my role as chief customer officer, I want to make sure everyone's having a great experience, right? So if there's anything that I can do to help people have a better experience, that's what I'm there for. Uh, sometimes it's some basic blocking and tackling, like, hey, you know, we are, we have an issue here. You know, with 9,000 people and 600 right. there's plus sponsors, be some problem. Where, there's always something happening. You know, someone didn't get their coffee delivered. You know, yeah. the microphone isn't working in this room. So I get called in uh, for some of that. Some of it is, again, you know, like we're running 14 different stages. I'll often run a stage or, you know, do introductions. For example, this year I'll be... Uh, the head of the life annuity and group benefits stage. So oh, great. I had to mention the, uh, an advisory board of some terrific people from, you know, leading companies in the life annuity and group benefits space. So I'll be there on that stage. Uh, I work them, the main stage, I do, uh, remarks on the main stage and I sometimes will, uh, you know, moderate a panel or so on the main stage. I did that last year for like Cambridge Mobile Telematics, uh, the premier Bermuda and some of the regulators and what have you. So that's been cool. Um, gosh, what else? I host the Black Founders Meetup, which oh, I've been neat. thrilled about. We've done that now. This is the third year. Um, as you know, it's funny because the event business has gotten much, it's changed a lot. Like when I started at ITC, I was one of the younger folks. And I was certainly one of the few people of color, right? It's true. Changed, changed drastically. We have a much younger audience. Now I'm one of the old heads <laughs> and we have a lot more diversity. The audience has gotten younger, a lot more females in the audience, a lot more, much more balanced. And you see a lot more uh, diversity. You see, so we're, we have the Black Founders Meetup, which I host. We also have a women's leadership uh -oh. forum um which has been really great so it's there have been some really cool things so i went around a lot and i also try to you know take in some of the uh some of the cool you know content sessions i walk the expo hall and talk to a lot of the sponsors who you know many of them have been with us since 2016 you know sponsors yeah, like majesco sure. for example sure. uh sure yeah make sure so a little bit of everything um but yeah, I, I, the, I take the ones a, that have been able to stay afloat, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, it, you know, it's a lot I, of five-hour energy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm I'm wondering. I have two things. First of all, yeah. on on your diversity comment, I totally agree. I mean, I think that there is not another insurance-based conference that has 
uh, the diversity either by gender or or uh, or color that that ITC has. Period. Um, and and I think that's a terrific statement. And and I think it's a very kind of where it's a it's a look where insurance is heading, right? right. And where we've been and insurance has been very slow um, t- to get there. Um, the other thing is, is, is do you get to take time to kind of say, is this working? Is that working? Here's a good idea. Here's something I didn't think of. I mean, do, so, you know, to kind of inform next year and where you're going to head and what, yeah. you know, those kind of ideas. Yeah, I definitely spend a lot of time, and I've heard Caribou comment on this too, uh, on your podcast. I definitely talk to people. People are asking me usually, like, how's the event going for you? And I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. the event's great. Like, we've got 9,000 people here. It's not important how it's going for me. It's important how it's going for you. And what can we do to make the event a better experience? Like I said, we created these neighborhoods because for years, people were saying, you know, it was different rules. 2,000, 3,000 people the first couple of years. Yeah. When it got to the, you know, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, people were like, wow, there's so much to see. How do I, you know, how do I absorb all this? So we've taken that kind of, you know, feedback to heart and been working on it actually for a couple of years. How do we make a big event feel smaller? How do we let, how do we help people find their flock and integrate into either the people that they want to talk to? Because again, not only is, an event like, you know, meeting your clients, your prospects or whatever, but it's also meeting people who are doing the same kinds of things that you are and talking to them and talking to them about like, what's working at your organization or, you know, what do you think about this? It's also a chance to build your own brand, right? Because a lot of times at these events, what we've found is people are looking for a person to bring into their organization. They're looking to hire, they're looking to get themselves hired. They're looking for their next career move. They're looking for a mentor or an advisor or something like that. So there's a lot of personal networking that happens at the event as well. So what we're trying to do, we literally, I spent 362 days of the year thinking about ITC Vegas. Yeah. Right. We have other ITCs. We have ITC Asia. We did ITC Latam last year, which is now part of Vegas. We have ITC Japan. We have ITC Via Europe, which we strategically uh, bought a few years ago. Right. Sure. For example. Heck. Yeah. The kiosk. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a great observation because we've been very, you know, again, intentional about that. It is first and foremost an insure tech, a tech show, um, but it's evolved to your point to be literally the world's largest gathering of insurance innovation. So it takes the startups, you know, the original kind of formula for success that Caribou again outlined was startups, carriers, and the investors, right? And that was kind of the the universe your itc is in the center of that universe to use our her uh, our cosmic theme right um and then we started to attract and we loved having those startups another thing we did very intentionally was have the startups in 
a different kind of format. We call them kiosks versus a standard booth, right? In the exhibit hall, it was very visually, you know, you knew exactly, okay, here are the kiosks, here are the startups. So if you're an investor like Caribou, all you had to do was look and say, oh, that's where all the startups are. Let me go talk to them. So that was very intentional on our part. But yes, we've, we've been blessed with having, you know, the biggest technology companies. We've had Facebook, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, IBM, you know, uh, just some of the biggest players in the space also come. Uh, a lot of the big, you know, early on, a lot of the big consulting firms were presented by McKinsey, uh, which is an honor for us. McKinsey doesn't really do events, you know, so to have them as the presenting sponsor of IPC really says a lot. So McKinsey, Deloitte, EY, other systems integrators, other consultant Milliman, other, you know, Selen, Oliver Wyman, those guys have played uh, massive roles in the, uh, in the event as well. So you see a lot of those folks. And then all the other solutions providers, you know, everyone who's valuable to the insurance ecosystem, the guide wires, various, you know, of the world, uh, the core systems providers. I mentioned Majesco has been our big time sponsor from the very beginning, uh, Sapiens. Uh, you know, a lot of those players have, as well have been really, really key to, uh, to our growth as well. So, you know, we consider ourselves to have a large tent. But we do want to focus on the technology. A lot of it's coming from the innovators in the insure tech space. A lot of it's coming from some of the more mature, bigger, established companies. And we've always been, you know, agnostic. Like we didn't, we never said, and this is part of the reason why we're bringing agents really intentionally back into the fold, because early on, everyone was saying like, oh, with tech, you know, insure tech is going to obviate and eliminate the need for an agent. That prediction we thought was, was, was not accurate from the beginning, nor do we think it's accurate now. And I don't think it's going to be accurate in the future because, you know, still it's, we're talking about complicated stuff. You know, insurance is about protecting the people, the places, and the things that we treasure, right? You need a person who is skilled at understanding all the trends and the nuances and all that stuff. You, you can't just use you know, an AI bot or whatever for that kind of level of advice. You know, no one's doing that. You're not doing that in your personal life when you're investing or whatever. I mean, you know, the market starts crashing. You're not like, Ooh, I'm just gonna let the AI bot rebalance my portfolio. No, you know, every, every person's situation, every company's situation is unique. And so we've always been very, uh, very much a part of, let's make sure we bring in the people experts, the brokers, the agents into that mix as well to balance out all the technology. So. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it fluctuates a little bit every year. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's been fairly, fairly steady. Again, we have a great group of carriers, insurers and reinsurers who come to the event in droves to find out what's the latest and greatest and to do all the other things, you know, again, like talent acquisition happens and it's something that people really, really talk about a whole lot, but it's happening, you know, in a massive scale at ITC, right? People are always looking for the best talent. So the carriers are there for that. The investors uh, have, there are fewer investors now, I would say, you know, than in the early years as a percentage, because, you know, investment, like the, the silly money is gone, right? People have gotten a lot smarter about where the venture money is going. So you're seeing, you know, much more targeted investors, you know, those early rounds are certainly still happening and they're happening you know, the fewer rounds with larger dollars, they see, you know, uh, really more specialized investors coming. But so we have a, a nice group of investors there that constantly come, uh, the startup founders, gosh, we have something like 600 plus unique startups that attend the event. About 200 of them are in those kiosks, but we have, you know, other folks that, you know, 
to walk the show, participate in various ways. So we've got lots of startup companies that are still coming. Um, the solutions providers segment, uh, the, the other technology providers continues to grow. The associations uh, continues to grow. Like I said, we're doing continuing education for agents with the uh, Risk and Insurance Education Alliance. Um, this one association, for example, you know, the accelerators, the plug and plays and those folks, Generator has been a big partner of ours and SureTech Israel, you know, comes from overseas. So we see a lot of, of, of those groups uh, coming as well. So it's a really nice balanced mix. Um, it changes a little bit every year, but not too much. But I think, again, what's been the bigger change is that you're seeing a lot more young people. You're seeing a lot more emails. And it's just not like a kind of a, what used to be called like an old boys club kind of thing where, yeah, it, it's changing rapidly. And that's that's happening in events in general. So that's why we do a lot more things that are, you know, more, a little bit more uh, catering to that younger group. They want experiences. They want to, you know, do that, what they call beleisure, that blending of travel and uh, and business, right? Business and leisure, beleisure. And so people are looking for things to do, which is why Vegas is great. You know, it's a great place to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. They made it. Yeah, you know, like Hippo, like a soft wand. I remember like, you know, I think Hippo started off in the kiosk. Uh, Agent Sync might have also Plank. Plank just got acquired uh, recently. They all started in kiosk. Yeah. Oh, that glitch out. Yeah. She's losing me. Oh, wow. Uh, there's a lot happening and it's, it will be hard to do it in just like a minute or so. Uh, we do have a bunch of webinars that are also happening in the next few weeks as we uh, come up. We have one on the 10th. Um, we have a first timers webinar. I'll highlight that. Uh, that's coming up on the 17th. We really try to you know, reach out to the folks that haven't been to the event maybe yet to kind of tell them here's what to expect. Um, AI is obviously, you know, top of mind for a lot of folks. We have uh, Drew Aldrich of Viewpoint Ventures. He's been a big supporter of ours from the very beginning. Uh, he's doing a great AI webinar on the 24th. And then we do a like kind of a no, be go, no before you go on October 1st. Um, so there's a lot of great stuff that's happening. Um, I always tell people, you know, again, come early, come on Tuesday, check out a lot of those kickoff sessions. Um, read the agenda. There's a lot to choose from. We're also doing something uh, new this year. We're going to be, because you can't go into, you know, 120 or so sessions. Uh, we're going to have, uh, we're leveraging AI. Again, we innovate on our own conference too, right? It's an innovation. So we got to innovate. So we've got a uh, an AI summary that's happening for a lot of our, uh, an AI summary that's happening for a lot of the uh, sessions. We're really excited about that with Rosie.ai. Um, there's some cool content that's happening. Gosh, there's just 
there's just so much going on. Uh, it's hard to just, you know, focus on just one life and annuity and group benefit stage. So much good stuff. Uh, so many great parties. I always tell people like, you know, give yourself a little bit of leeway in your schedule. Don't over schedule yourself. Our app actually drops today. Today's Thursday, September 5th. Our app is going to drop later today. Go into the app, set up your profile, start making requests for meetings, but leave some space in your schedule for that serendipitous, you know, I met some guy standing next to me or gal in the line trying to get a, a cup of coffee. And wow, you like, I really want to, you know, double click on them and, and learn more about what they're doing. We have a lot of opportunity to do that, but there's great content. There's great networking. There's great discovery. There are great parties. It's an experience and it's going to be cosmic this year. Yeah, likewise, likewise. Lee and Rob, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be on and be part of your epic uh, and hallowed guest list for SNO. So, all right. Thanks, gentlemen. Fascinating to me what goes on behind the curtain. Yeah. And uh, what, what, a, what an undertaking. Wow. Yeah, I mean, imagine everything that Bill's seen. He's been there since the founding yep. of ITC. Yep. Think of all the conversations, all the dreaming, all yep. the planning, yep. everything he's seen, everything he's done. Yep. I mean, he has he has a wealth of knowledge. What a and and what what a great guest. What a great guest. Yeah. Uh yeah. I I I um I can't imagine putting on an event for 10,000 people. Just, no. just stunning. And they do a great job. And from a flow standpoint, uh, it, it always goes well. So uh, once again, we have a coupon code available for discount on the registration to ITC. And Lee has that information. I do. So our promo code, whenever you're signing up for ITC, use the promo code ITC. V as in Victor, FNO 200. And that'll get you $200 off the registration and it'll save you a little cash there. Well, and we hope we that you can use that so we can see you there because both Lee and I will be there. Um, you will know us. You won't know us. Well, <laughs> Unless you know us. We won't have t-shirts on. Unless you know us. Yeah, we don't wear t-shirts or hats or anything like that. We're just a couple of jamokes walking around. Just two random guys walking by each other. But please Just come say hi us. to us. We'd, we'd love to. We, we'd love to. We always love to talk with um, our audience. So uh, until then, we'll see you in Las Vegas. Goodbye, everybody.